to drive 40 minutes to another Bojangles to work today. I did it yesterday and I hated it there. I hate it there. I really do. Like, I um, I just hated it there because I was out of my element. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's not my store, so like, I just feel like I'm like the oddball out in the whole situation, in the whole store, you know? And like, who they have, um, who they have working is like a bunch of like kids, like teenagers, like 16. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but like at the same time, it's like, wow. Like my whole crew, I don't think we even have a 16 year old working in our store. Not yet at least. And I mean, we used to, but like not anymore. And, uh, and, uh, and then on top of everything else, they were slower than shit. So, like, the whole night just dragged for me, and it was so boring. And, like, then, like, I didn't have no, like, alarm code. So, I had to, like, end up borrowing one of the manager's codes, uh, for the alarm. And then, um, like, my, whatever he is, gave me their key set, but I don't know how I'm gonna give it back unless I, like, see him again or something and then, like, give it to him then, but, anyway. I'm just, like, so done and ready to, like, get this day over with, because I don't want to work there no more. I'm gonna tell my boss, I'm like, I'm not going back over there. I really am not like it was so slow and so boring over there like I just and the drive I can't I can't do the drive the drive is super long for me like it really is and like I'm probably gonna be late getting there so because I'm right here getting coffee and they're being slow shit Hold on, hold on, I'll push you up. <laughs> That's okay. funny. Um, <laughs> no, my drink was under that. Uh-oh. Is it open? Um, I... Oh, is that the 
Nope. Oh my God, it's safe. Look, the drink is safe. <coughs> See it? <laughs> You're so bent though, isn't it? <laughs> The pool. And guess what? Thursday was her birthday, so this is what I what she's doing, right? Yep. No. They wouldn't stop everyone from swimming just for a band aid, I don't yeah, think. They would just pick it up. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. There is nothing, she said. Hold on. I don't know. They just stopped and was using those. We think somebody doo dooed in the pool. Oh my god. Huh? This is for my last go go, I can go, ask you. Go over there and ask them since you know them. Yeah, just go ask them. She knows, she knows a lot of so because she's on the swim team and they're on it, so she's going to ask them. Or he's going to ask them. <laughs> it's probably the way that they're doing that. How hard is it to do that though? Like, just scoop it up. <laughs> Why? You can tell they're kids themselves. <laughs> Like just, just grab it up with your hand, man. There's Come on. They're just rubbing it in. <laughs> There's actually poop. That's so nasty. There's someone pooped in the pool. At least it's only in the kitty. Looks like they're just rubbing it in. You want any dying with some ice cream? Or slushy. Slushy. Well, that girl's got a mask on there. <laughs> well, this is interesting. I wonder if it's a Probably a kid. I like one of the little ones. I think it's a kid. Why? 58365. How much are slush puppies? I 
I got fresh pool hair. I just um, got done from the pool. We stayed until they they closed. Um, Shala's friend, he came with us and hung out with her. Um, it's one of her friends that she's made friends with during summer school. Which I'm kind of glad that she made made at least one friend, new friend. But um, now we're heading to the house because Shala's going to change and use the pool to, And she's going to go back to his house. Now, before anybody freaks out and says, well, why are you allowing her to go to boy's house? This is a trans boy. Okay, so I'm a little bit more comfortable with it. Okay? And he's, like, really nice. And he's really cool. Like, I met him today at the pool, and he was a great kid. Well, seemed like a great kid. Let's just put it that way. But he, um, you know, he's on, like, the swim team and, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, that's good. And I'm off. Yay. So... What's good in the hood, everybody? I don't know why I decided to do that that way, but okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it, right? <clears throat> so tomorrow, I'm gonna go get my car inspected, get my tag renewed, that sort of shit, you know, doing the adult things, right? <clears throat> and before I even bring my car to a shop to get it inspected, the car needs cleaning it needs it like bad um so I thought why not in this vlog do kind of like a clean with me car edition type thing but it's gonna be in this vlog okay so you don't have to wait on a separate video because I'm a slacker when it comes to that sort of shit okay <laughs> now that we got that out the way I don't really have much planned this week besides the whole getting my car legal or renewing the legalization of my car let's just put it that way um and then probably the rest of the week I'm working so this literally these two days are the only two days that I that I really have to actually get my shit together so I found the good old tripod um it was collecting dust in a corner and I was like, I'm pulling that bitch out and I'm going to do a clean with me because I don't think I've done a clean with me in a while. Um, like as far as like, well, maybe with my car, I don't know if I've done one in my car lately. I can't remember. I probably have and I just haven't, you know, just, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clean the car out. Also, I am going to vacuum the car out. I'm actually going to go to the spot that I go to to and actually clean my car out. And I'm gonna obviously um, wash the car. Um, so yeah. All right, so here's Harley. See her? She needs a good cleaning. She needs a bath, she needs to empty her insides, that sort of shit. Okay, so. I'm going to give you like a before and then an after like of the car. So let's go. All right. Here's good old Harley. If anybody was questioning like my car and what the year is, it's a 2003 Mercury Grand Marquis. Yes, it does look like a cop car. It's a very long car. Um, here's the windows. I have Michael Myers. Yes. And then I have jack skeleton in my very old um uh what is that oh right haunted mansion sticker um an old batman sticker that's piling off yeah I, I i haven't updated anything um the front looks like this like the windshield i do have a speaker here because my tape adapter is not working now and my car has a tape adapter and a cd player instead of like the fancy schmancy bluetooth bullshit you can see my car <laughs> this little car mount is what i i vlog with um i have baby yoda like a little bobblehead and then i'll show you it in a minute but like i have my my skeleton bones in there and some other shit but yeah so let's open it up so i gotta get in here 
and I do have like a keypad, but I didn't want to like show my code on on here. But here's the inside of my car right now. Like here's my door. A lot of buttons. A lot of buttons, I know. But this is my front seat, like the driver's seat. I have my steering wheel, obviously. There's Mr. Bone. There's my bony skeleton bones. And then I have some random like keychains hanging up there. I know. And I have my Bi Pride. And then I have this really um interesting like cd holder thing i don't have any cds in there behind you okay so now we're going to go into the driver's side back seat and this is where it's pretty messy like this is where like all hell broke loose in this car like there's a random bag of popcorn that i need to throw out um uh, a blanket and a pillow like what the what the hell is going on here oh and a purse like come on now like look how nasty and dirty like the top of my car is and that's just like the pollen see it's just pollen okay here's the other side i mean i'm pretty sure you saw but it's like like look at this this is disgusting like i'm so ashamed to have anybody in my car because of how filthy it is and then here's the passenger seat which i kind of think it's like the worst of it all like, I have a problem. Like, this is what happens when I get very anxiety-driven and depressed and or I wear too much. Like, what the hell? Like, nobody can sit in this seat. Nobody can put their feet in the floorboard. Like, what What the hell? So, we're going to, we're going to do some things to the car. Okay? And I'm very embarrassed about the trunk. I'm not cleaning the trunk today, but I will show you how, um how it's just gonna show you like really like yes i have a chair because we just came to the pool i have beach towels or well towels i have a beach bag a lot of it's just like random crap that i probably don't need and i need to like look look there's no Lacroix in here anymore like what the hell like i have a, I have a problem like of course up here i have all of my like car necessity things like my spare tire i have a windshield sun blocker thing that i ever never use and then my jack and some spare tools and stuff is up there with like a ice scraper and then i have some like antifreeze just chilling here i have a problem y'all i really do so anyway that was the car tour and that was the before okay and then when i get it good and clean um i guess i'll show you that's the plan i don't know but yeah i'm gonna put you on the tripod and we're gonna start and wish me good luck <laughs>
the inside of the car clean. Didn't clean the trunk. But, uh, they're not going to look into the truck, I'm assuming. Um, but I did get the inside clean. I just have to go and vacuum it and wash the outside of the car. So I'll probably um, do that after I pick Shala up from school. But right now, I'm going to go grab some coffee because I'm a thirsty bitch and I haven't had coffee yet. I think I'm going to just go ahead and wash my car. Um, I'm not going to vacuum it. I might wait until after I pick Shala up to do that. But I definitely need to wash it and I can get a, I can get my car wash for free because I am on a membership to the car wash. It's not technically free but you get the gift. You know, I gotta use it. <clears throat> I've been trying to go and take the car to the car wash at least once a week to wash it. As far as it cleaning wise, yeah. The inside, no. I haven't gotten around to doing that but at least the outside looks good, right? And mind you, I don't, the reason that my car gets like this is because, like, I don't ride around a whole bunch of people. Like, I mean, I do, like, my mom and my, my brother and my daughter, but, like, they don't really care. They're, like, they're family. Like, they, they don't care, you know? <clears throat> but, if anybody else that barely knows me um you know rides I definitely do worry about it so I don't think this is going to be like the official book to do this in. I just bought this because I randomly bought it and I was like, hey, I can use this for this reason. And that is, I think in about budgeting again or like trying to get back into budgeting because your girl has been slacking. And I've been mentioning that, that I have been slacking. So <clears throat> I just got a plain notebook for now like it's normal lines 
I have been jotting down some things, you know, just figuring out life, monthly stuff, bullshit, blah, 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 blah. But I'm thinking I'm going to go on Amazon and get one of those, like, notebooks that you can put cash in with the envelopes and stuff. So, yeah, that's the plan. I lost the other one, if you're curious about what happened to that one. But I'm going to go get another one, and I'm actually going to try to, like, do it my, myself and see if I can get my budgeting together. So... Wish me good luck on that. Oh, and another thing. I canceled Boxy and Ipsy finally because I've had enough of their bullshit and sending me shitty fucking stuff. So, I'm just over it. So, I'm going to be saving a good 30 or 40 bucks a month on that. So, that it kind of will add up towards more money in the car fund, you know, for when I get another car. So, that'll be exciting. So, yeah. Hi. It's Tuesday and I've already got one thing checked off my list today. And that is I got my car inspected. I've been up since six. I took Shala to school. It was like today's her last day of summer school. Um and I asked her, I was like, Are you wanting to go to school your last day? Because like I know a lot of kids don't go on their last day of school. Um, and she says she had to because, um, over the weekend when she spent the night with her friend Kai, um, she forgot her phone charger. So she wanted to make sure she was there to get her, her phone charger. And I told her, I was like, dude, we could just always like go over to her house or like the next time you spend the night with her or hang out with her, she can, she can, uh, bring it to you. But whatever. <laughs> but anyway, um, no, when I went to the inspection, it was pretty quick. Like it literally took no more than like 30 minutes. And, um, I had a, I had a burnt out brake light, but they fixed it right there. We spent $63 though. Like that's annoying, but I mean, you pay to keep your car up, you know, to date and legal and, you know, my car's legal. Don't get me wrong, my car's legal. It's just the tax going to expire at the end of the month and that's in a few days. Um, so I'm trying to like get everything done today so that I'm not freaking out like later on. I mean, I've been procrastinating it all month because I'm that type of person. I'm, I'm a procrastinating, uh, what, a uh, procrastinating, uh, Capricorn. Like that doesn't make any sense. Like you would think like I would be on my toes about it. Like I was planning on doing it like at the start of the month. That way, if anything happened where I had to like fix it I'd have the whole entire month but like my dumb ass was stupid and didn't do it um but also like I didn't know like what my schedules schedule was going to be ahead of time because usually normally I go to um this one spot and get my car inspected I've done it for like the past two years and they were completely booked until Thursday and I was working Thursday so it wasn't going to be convenient excuse me, for me at all, um, so I just kind of decided to just, they recommended me to go to Babel, this place called Babylon. if anybody knows what it is, it's like an oil change center, um, where they're like really fast and speedy, which is cool, actually, I'm thinking probably I'll go there to get my oil change, because, um, they were very professional, very nice, very, just like, I enjoyed the experience, you know, but anyway, I got that done. Now I'm heading to go get some coffee because I need it. I've got some um, Dunkin' Perks that I've earned, you know, free drink and everything. So I'm going to go get me a coffee and use it up. <laughs> Alright, so I just got the information for my tag renewal because I needed it. And now I'm heading to the tag office. Cause I need to get it renewed. <laughs> I don't know what that was. But my dad's wife works at the tag office, and so every time I go in there, I see her. But I was going to say hey to her today, but she just seemed busy, so I just kind of was like, oh, I'm just going to do my thing and let her do her thing because I don't want to distract her. All right, so my renewal of my car being legal is 
done. I feel so accomplished as an adult. Get it all done early so I don't have to worry about it later. I just passed by my dad too and how I knew it was my dad was he's got his truck's got is white and then he's got like a with his business on it it's a grud but you can't miss his truck because it's packed full of fucking appliances anyway so I, I, I recognize my dad like a mile away if he has appliances on the back of his truck <laughs> but he's out early though like normally I, I normally don't see him or when he used to like you know, when I used to run the store and everything, he wouldn't get there until like 10 a.m. and shit. So, I don't know. Maybe they are starting early on the their deliveries and stuff. I don't know. Just an update. I'm fine. I guess you knew that. I don't know. Anyway, I lost my ball to my septum few nights ago and I haven't found where I put my new jewelry at so I'm going around with one ball and so I tucked it like this so it still looks kind of like a nose ring but if you look from this side it's yeah but it's bothering me but I'll find them eventually but <clears throat> yeah and I got something in the mail um I ordered myself another bag like I need a fucking bag like I really don't but like I'm trying to like find a new like Halloween bag because last year's Halloween bag fell apart on me the one with the skull I don't know if anybody remembers that that bag or not but it it finally decided it was just gonna fall apart I mean I know I could probably fix it because where it fell apart at it's in a spot that probably I could grab some like fabric or something and like detach it that way but I'm not really I mean like I'm good with a needle but not like skilled with a needle if you know what I mean so I just was like you know what I don't know if this is gonna be my Halloween bag um, I've been always wanting to get this one specific um, bag from the Spirit Halloween store. It's like a trick-or-treat bag, but it's like this huge tote. But every time I go on their their site or, you know, when they open up the um, Halloween store back up, which is the Spirit Halloween is what I'm talking about, they never have it. So, I thought I would rock this bad boy. Um, I got this from Kill Store. Um, it was $60, but um, the cool thing about Killstar is they've got Afterpay or Klarna. I think it's Klarna and Afterpay. I think I decided to use Klarna this time. I'm not sure which one I used, but I used one of them. And I wanted kind of like a, like, I always say this, I always want like a junk bag, like a bag you throw shit at. And when I say that, I always tend to go back to the, the, the speedy bag that I always rock. Like, right here it is. Right here, and all shit at her glory. Like, I, I'm still carrying it, bitch. But, I wanted something a little bit more black. Even though I've got a thousand black um, purses, I don't know. I just kind of want something that I can, like, this is it. This is the bag got a bunch of like harness things on it but I thought you were thought don't know how successful my thoughts are anymore these days because a lot of the times when I think shit it doesn't really play out and work the way I plan it if you know what I mean but I was thinking I can use this bag as like maybe I can't it's like one of those like shoulder bags maybe I can do a yeah it's like both ways, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, um, if anybody was curious on what the bag name is, it's called the Possession Bags. It's on the Kelstar website. I actually wanted this one that I've been like eyeballing for like, I want to say at least a year or two. And they've been always sold out of it. And it's um, a per, it's like a, got a moon on it. And it's got this like foxtail, faux foxtail on it and everything. But it's always sold out. I don't. I want it so fucking bad. So 
But yeah, here's the bag. It's pretty flat right now because obviously it's been in the mail. Oh, and look, it's got these like straps on it too. I forgot if this bag, I don't know. I think this bag has like straps you can attach onto it, I believe. Maybe. I think so. I think these are the straps that you kind of like detach wherever you feel like attaching them to. Oh yeah, these are. These are just like random like strap so that you can like, you know, detach onto your bag and let them hang. I'm not sure if I want to like carry them that way or not, but we'll see what I decide to do because I don't know what I'm going to do. But I thought it would be big enough, or I was hoping it would be big enough to, like, when I get a budget book, put my budget book in it. I know you guys are probably going to be like, you're very contradicting right now. You're saying you want to save money, but you're buying shit. What the fuck? I just don't understand why there's, like, one random strap on here. There's two on this one. Oh, oh. I'm trying to figure this shit out. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to figure it out, y'all. Okay? I think it goes like this. Yeah, I think it goes like that. Where it, like, dangles. I don't know. Or maybe I can just, like, convert it into a shoulder bag. I don't know. One way or another, I'll do it. I'll figure it out. But I, I got this specific one because a lot of their, um... Their bags have like pentagrams and stuff like that. That's something like I'm totally not, like I'm totally against. Um, look, I mean, like I'm not against it. Like as far as like, you know, like I don't judge people if they're like, you know, into that shit. I just, it's not my personal style, if that makes sense. Like I don't walk around with like the pentagram and everything else. You know what I'm saying? Like I like the gothic wear I just don't like to rock the pentagram just because like it's not for it's not because people judge but people do judge at the same time and um I've, I've always never been a huge fan of like rocking the pentagrams like I love skulls and I love moons and stars and all that sort of stuff like regarding like the if you want to consider it being part of being a goth girl or goth bitch or part of the goth community like that's what they kind of like hang out with i love bats i'm not a huge like spiders or snakes kind of girl but like you know i do rock a those you know anything stuff with that stuff in it if that makes sense but anyway yeah here's the inside of it just looks like a basic inside and there's a back pocket and it says Kelsar on it. And Kelsar does have some really good bags, like good quality bags. Um, of course, you're gonna be spending more money on it. Um, and thankfully they have like Afterpay and look like Klarna. So that if you're, you know, you're wanting that bag now and you only have like 20 bucks in your bank account, go ahead and get it and then you can pay the rest of it off when you have money in your bank account, right? I don't know. Um, we're gonna go to the pool today and we're gonna hang out and chill because today's really my only day off with Shala. Um, I work the rest of the weekend, today's Friday. Yeah, we're going to the pool, we're gonna swim, enjoy the sun while there's some left and the rest of the summer, you know, we might not go. I'm not sure if we'll go again, but we'll see. So we're at one of Shala's friend's house to see if he's gonna come or not, to see if he's allowed to come. Um, but while we're waiting and everything, I'm gonna show you what I did or what I got myself. Um, I'm planning on doing a budget book thing now. I know I'm crazy because I've done it before and it, I stopped for a while, but I think Hopefully this time it'll work out because the budget book that I got the last time, <clears throat> it fell apart for one. It was really cheap. I got it for like three bucks 
and it was a weekly one and I wanted a weekly one because I think I can keep up with my expenses a little bit more but I also got this now I did put the stickers on here and stuff because Shala had a bunch of stickers so I just like covered it with um, stickers because it's see-through <clears throat> see it's like kind of see-through you like you can see me um, but I am going to do that envelope stuffing thing so I have it in my car right now because I had it in my purse last night and I just threw it out I don't have any money in here yet because I'm not starting it until <clears throat> next week um, so if you want to see me do that I'll definitely do it I'll definitely do like the cash stuffing envelope thing and uh, so forth and then lift up your arm and grab this up and then this is the budget book that I got and I actually bought all of this uh, through Amazon about this about the the colorful ones like the colorful um, zipper envelope things it came with the notebook but I also bought these clear ones as well so <clears throat> um, yeah I bought all of it um, and this thing it comes with the envelopes you don't have to buy the, the other ones but if you have a lot more um, things that you want to like budget for then you'll need more but I mean I only spent like eight bucks on like 12 more of them and then I bought some labels and some like pens and then I bought this this one was probably the most that I spent um, as far as a budget book it's like a, it was like $14 $14 it's from the brand Clever Fox and um, I haven't really wrote anything down yet because I haven't really looked into my expenses I think that's probably what I'm gonna do while I'm at the pool is right in this but it literally is week day by day week you know for the whole week and that's what it looks like um, there's other stuff in here like at the back of the book like I'm probably not gonna fill it out but it's just a profit and loss summary kind of thing that you can write down. Now, this might be useful for somebody else, but I'm not sure if it'll be useful for me. And then it comes with, like, some extra paper to, like, jot down stuff with. And then, like, a really cool pocket here to, like, if you want to stuff, like, receipts or whatever you want to do in there. I just currently have, like, some extra uh, labels in here. And, like, there was some, like, stickers that came with this guy. Um, somebody's pulling up. Who? No, that ain't, that ain't nobody important, I don't think. Not over here. He's not home. Um, <clears throat> there, there were some, like, extra labels and stuff in it that came with this. And I didn't use those. I bought my own labels. He's not home. <clears throat> Where's he at? I don't know. He's not answering me, so I don't think he can come. Can he call him? his window up there. Damn. What are these, like townhouses? They're like half of that, and then half of that, and then half of that. I know, they look like they're like little apartments. So. Anyway, uh, her friend's not home apparently. So, we're going to try and um, we're going to go to the pool now. So, working on my um, budget book and I just kind of like it slipped my mind to like vlog my bad um <clears throat> but 
Um, Shala's gonna go to my dad's this weekend, so she, we stopped at the house to get um, her some things for her to, to take over there. And my dad got a doom buggy. I'll try to show it to you. He went and bought a doom buggy this week and he buys and he impulse buys like I do. And it's crazy how we're, we're related like that. But he bought him a doom buggy <clears throat> and it's yellow. It's like the worst color He's ever. Painting it teal. What color? Teal. That's better than yellow. And you know the wheels were yellow too? Ew. But I'll try to show it to you when. Okay. Oh. My daughter had a sticker that has a dolphin, and my dad's wife um, loves dolphins, so she's gonna give it to um, her. Wonder where she'll put it. Probably on her phone or something, or okay, yeah, probably. <laughs> but anyway, she. Um, yeah, he bought that. Like, he went, he literally was in the same area that I was this week, uh, when I worked. Um, which I went down to Mary in North Carolina to work at another Bojangles down there. And he got it down there. So. That's it right there. It's the ugliest thing in the world. nails done I just did this black with sparkles I'm gonna start up my Halloween -y nails soon so this is just a great little introduction Shala you want to look show yours or no she got this like sage green matte color so Hi, everybody those are her nails she actually got long nails and I ended up with shorter nails because yeah <laughs> we're but and it's usually the other way around yeah I usually get really short nails so I now nails. what are we doing now shy bug mm -hmm. I don't know either I'm hungry I am too I guess we're gonna look for some food but, yeah. Well, almost $200 spent today on my daughter and my grandmother. And nothing on me. I mean, I did spend money on my nails, but, like, I spent more on them than I do on myself this, just now. And, uh... Get my grandmother her what I got her, and we're gonna go from there. Hi. So we're clothes shopping for school. So Shell is in the fitting room right now. That one right there. What's it now? Let me see. Done, Shaw? Okay. Yeah, let's see him. You like him? Yeah. Comfy? Yeah, comfy, comfy. They're a little big, but you like them? Okay. All right. Cool. Let me see those, and I'll I'll put them up. These did not fit. 
these ones were like super baggy on her and so that was enough all right get changed and let's get out of here So here's some of the clothes we picked out for her. These really cute skinny jeans and all of these like shirts and hoodies, which I'll try to go through in a little bit. All right, so we just got out of the store. We're actually sitting in a different parking lot because it's raining right now and I'm don't like the rain um but the place that we went to was called gabe's i don't know if anybody else has a gabe's but it used to be ours used to be a rugged warehouse and then it turned into gabe's uh a while back like a couple of years three four years something like that but anyway we're gonna kind of show you what what shall got for school so you ready She's gonna be my assistant here. So we got her these cute little boots. They're from Juicy Couture and they look like this. She has some outfit ideas and you guys can help us out with some outfit ideas too for her to, uh, you know, wear with these. Or for these to wear, for her to wear with those. I can't even talk. So we got this shirt in the men's section and she's been obsessed with butterflies lately. And so we got her this and it says so fly on there, but it's like a long sleeve shirt. Figured that would be so cute for when it gets cooler. Or she did, I don't know. And then I think these were the pants that I showed you in the last clip. Are these like cute little skinny jeans that button up, they're kind of high, high wasted and their skinny jeans didn't show it all in one in the, in the thing but all right next we got is this which is two top two shirts for the price of one um got like a little sun on there and then on the other side it says angel you know she's got to be like a tiktoker here. We found some cute Halloween jewelry. Um, Shala got these like ghost earrings with like these like cute little tassels on it. And then she got these like spider webs with the spider bling out. And then I got these super cute little skele bones. Don't know. I don't wear a lot of earrings, so I don't know how I'm going to rock it, but we'll see on that. Alright. Next, we got her this cute hoodie, because she's into hoodies, and they have butterflies on it, so obviously why, why not get that? Okay. And then here's another like two set and they're dresses. One has um, a dress and it's got like a sun on it. And then this is just like a, a tie dye um, dress. So something very comfortable that she could wear. And then she got these leggings with this, what is this, a lotus flower on it? But they're tie dye not leggings, what are they, sweatpants. Sweatpants, joggers, whatever they call them now. I call them sweatpants. And then we got her a basic black shirt she can just wear with whatever. And then I'm not sure if she's gonna be able to wear this. She might be able to get away with it because it's gonna cover her stomach, but it's like a crop top, but it has like a motorcycle on it. Super cute. And then I think she only got this because of the Jeep on it, but has a little jeep and then on the back of it it says life life's a beach and then it has north carolina on it which i thought was really cool i'm assuming this like came from like a beach store or something like from the coast or something was that it that was it damn i went through that didn't i but yeah um 
they have some really cute clothes. I've seen some True Religion in there. We saw Nike, Puma. We saw Adidas in there. We even saw Grey's Anatomy. We saw like the Grey's Anatomy scrubs in there for like nurses and stuff like that. Uh, we saw, I mean, they had like Juicy in there because obviously we got those um, boots. I mean, there was a lot of like name brand stuff in there. There was also some name brands that I didn't recognize, but there was some really cute things in there. Like, um, they even had like a bunch of like um, cartoon characters like Rugrats. They had Yoda, Baby Yoda in there. What else did they have? They had Mickey in there. They had um, that um, and then like they had a lot of like baby clothes so if you're you know you have a baby you could go in there and buy up some clothes they had um, obviously kids they had men's they had women's they had juniors even um, which I thought that was really cool they even like our store like has changed like their floor flow um, and now they have like random grocery things in there now it's like really crazy because yeah. they used to never sell that they have handbags in there they have socks jewelry makeup even and so it's like it's like a really like convenient store for like if you're buying for school or you know you're buying yourself new clothes or whatever um i mean definitely if you have one around let me know because i i think we're like i've never seen a gabe's outside of my town so yeah but oh here's my shirt for the day thou shall not try me mood 24 7 yeah that's me i haven't even had coffee today so i'm like over here like the um but yeah we're we're just like going around you know trying to finish up the school shopping stuff i think we got a lot of her school supplies we still need to get her some more pants we only got her what like three pairs of pants was it three or two that we got you two right two pairs of pants so I'm thinking like maybe getting her like another like two or three pairs of pants and I think she'll be good um, maybe even try to see if we can find her some leggings um because she she still likes leggings so that's good she's the type of girl that like she can go from like comfy to like dressing really cute so she's kind of like me in a way like I can dress cute when I want to but like not like 90 percent of the time I'm like in comfy clothes all the time so We just got done going into TJ Maxx. I didn't film anything because I was more preoccupied with getting Shala's clothes for school together. Um, we got her three pairs of jeans. Um, she likes those skinny jeans that are ripped. So we got her a couple of uh, pairs of leggings, a pair of joggers. And then she found a romper and then I bought me like just a few little things I didn't I didn't go crazy either I went I looked to see about their Halloween stuff but like my TJ Maxx don't have that cute of Halloween stuff I was gonna like uh, get this one little statue that was like a skeleton it was like a bride and groom skeleton thing but I was like uh, I wouldn't have anywhere to put it so I, I was logical about that but I did buy like three things I bought me um, uh, some sports bras which was like a two pack of sports bras and um, like a little uh, skull shaped uh, soap and then I bought some bobby pins and they had like Halloween things it's like in a jar but I needed the bobby pins is why I got it and then it was just a bonus that it came in a cute little jar thing so that's what's up so Sal and I went to Sally's because Sal wants to do her hair so I'm going to 
diet today. Um, we just finished up shopping at the dollar store. Um, but this is it. We're going to go home. We're probably going to go grab my grandmother something to eat and then go home. So that's it for this little adventure. I'll just vlog a little bit of me dyeing her hair, but that's it.